Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 21 of this Did You Know series as we take a special look at the new 1.06 patch and a few things that you might not know. Did you know that the highlight reel has been updated and now features the name of your selected target? Previously, when using the highlight reel and selecting a target to focus on, there was no mention of which target was actually selected, meaning you had to progress the scene to see that you'd selected the correct superstar. However, following this new patch, 2K have added in the name of the superstar that is targeted, with this now shown under the change look target text. Did you know that Titus O'Neil's theme is now available in the music jukebox? Ever since WWE 2K18 was first released, one superstar whose theme could not be selected in the music jukebox was that of Titus O'Neil, as whenever previewing his theme, the game would incorrectly play DIY's theme. Now though, following this new update, this has finally been fixed, meaning players can now select Titus's theme to play on the main menu. Did you know that you can select team names for the Hardy Boys and the Rock and Roll Express? Another change that players may not know about is that the new patch also includes content from the upcoming Enduring Icons DLC pack, which features both the Hardy Boys and the Rock and Roll Express. However, despite this content being locked, team names for both teams have now been added to the Edit Teams menu and can now be used by all players regardless of whether or not you have the DLC. Did you know that championships now show in Universe Mode match cards? Prior to this new patch, players noticed that the championship that was on the line in Universe Mode didn't actually appear on the match card, making it unclear if the upcoming match was for the title. However, as of patch 1.06, this has now been fixed and the championship is now shown. Did you know that Community Creation search results have been updated to show if content includes unlockable or DLC content? While most of the changes brought about in this new patch focus on bug fixes, one of the handy new additions comes in the form of an update to Community Creation search results, as now when browsing content to download, 2K have added two new icons which show if an item features unlockable content or DLC, as should the content feature something that you need to unlock then you'll see the VC icon, or should it require DLC then you'll see this shopping bag icon. Did you know it's now possible to put your opponent through the Hell in a Cell using a regular move? When it comes to frustrations with the 2K series, one of the long-standing issues has been the roof of the Hell in a Cell, as following an update a few years back, players noticed that the ability to put people through the cell with a regular move had been removed from the game, taking with it the element of surprise when the roof would occasionally break and a superstar went crashing through. Instead, 2K set the cell roof up so that it could only be broken when using a finisher in the form of an OMG moment, which meant that you knew the cell was going to break and therefore it made it less exciting. Now though, this has finally been addressed as of patch 1.06 and now performing moves on the breakable area of the cell will now see it take damage until it eventually gives way and allows players to break it using a regular move. A sickening thud as he lands hard. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. So there you go, that was actually six more things that you might not know in Dota 8 2K18. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I'd love it if you could drop a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features, and if there's any other secrets, hints, or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes, and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left to be said is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.